Live Studio Tavern, joined by two very familiar faces to the Mammoth Film Festival. I, we were just talking, John. I, I, we've been at all of them except one. Yeah. You've been at all of them. I've been at all of them since the beginning. Reintroduce yourselves to our audience for those people who live under a rock and have never been to Mammoth Film Festival before. I'm Chris Reinecker. And I'm Jonathan Kite. <laughs> just and, kidding. It's the reverse. And we like are that, reverse it. Reinekite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. That's our that's, that's our cryptocurrency it. that we'll talk about in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, invest in Rhino Kite. Uh, I'm Chris Reinecker. I'm an actor and filmmaker, and I am the host of the Mammoth Award uh, Show and the Mammoth Festival. I also usually do the Celebrity Bowling Tournament, which I'm bummed we're missing out on this year, but I'm hoping we'll be back next year. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Kite. Uh, I'm just like Chris, but I don't have a short in the festival. I submitted a lot. <laughs> and uh, I submitted. I, I don't think I have Tanner's right number, <laughs> so I'm uh, I'm actually not part of the festival this year. I'm just here to settle some scores. So hopefully he sees this, and uh, if I can get an email, I have an AOL right now, and I think it's I think it's a dead end. <laughs> These guys are going to be hosting the award show, which will be on Monday tomorrow, starting at noon at the Mammoth uh, Mountain Lodge, and and like Chris was saying, they usually do the bowling tournament, but not to be this year. However, you have a short in the festival this year, which is. Unlike other years, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm super excited. It's a short by a writer star named Kylie Alesso. It's in the Her Voice block, directed by Kelly Walker. Um, and I was just kind of fortunate enough to lend lend my creative uh, guidance and help and making yeah. sure all, all everybody communicated and kind of empowering their voices. I think we got something really fun. It's called Just Lie to Me. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out out there, everybody. Just lie to me. Um, guys, you're real vets of the fest, so let's just talk Mammoth Film Festival and how awesome it is and how much we love coming up here every year, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're here now. Yeah. I love it. What did you say? I said I love it. I do, too. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's, it's lucky for us because um, being here, we, ca- we got to get to float around and see it really grow. I mean, it's it, even with the weather, which I know kept some people away, it still seems incredibly packed. I agree. I yeah. mean, really we the, well attended. We were at the theater last night, and I mean that they showed one film in two different theaters, and it felt like unintentionally they weren't able to seat everybody that was there. I mean, that's how packed the theater was last night, which is a really unfortunate for those people. Um, but cool for pulled out a lot of uh, director's chairs and kind of lined the walls. You know, it was really, really a packed theater. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it just speaks to sort of the family vibe up here. I mean, the the friendship vibe. I mean, everybody not only might have known Tanner and Tomic and uh, Chando and Theo and stuff coming into Mammoth even way back in the day, but and even if they didn't, they certainly do now. You know, you see the same people at the festival year after year, which is just a testament to the fest and the people that run it. Totally. Yeah. I agree. Uh, one, a couple of years ago, uh, one of the big award winners, um, uh, Anchorage, uh, wa- was here and, and won for their indie short. They were great audience members as well. We almost, we had a kind of live bit with them during it. And, and one of them is back, Scott, this year, uh, working at the festival, doing Q&As and all that. And I, I feel like that happens... Uh, often it's like a big like film film festival for filmmakers by filmmakers and you see the same people come back year after year which i hope speaks well about the leadership and and the community and the way we run it absolutely yeah anything uh planned for the award show for you uh, give away anything any secrets any surprises uh, we have nothing we got yet. S- we got <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's the thing uh we, we got uh, some bits people ask often and i'm gonna ask i'm gonna answer a question that we get asked a lot are you winging it? And <laughs> to our critics, I would say, what do you think? <laughs> There's uh, a lot of wing, wingish stuff going on. It's you know winged. You know what's cool that um, because we, we, you know, we've been going to a lot of the films, and we talked about this last night when we were just sort of did like a prep session about that. There's great jokes because the, the the materials are so rich this year, and it's like you know we we saw a great film the other night, Invisible Raptor. And, uh, Insane. And, and, and we were able just to, to spin off that and really highlight that. And it's cool when you feel passionate about the things that you're going to be talking about. Because, you know, when we do a lot of this stuff like corporates, they're like, talk about Mark and accounting. And I'm like, I really don't want to. Um, oh, he's paying for the whole thing? Mark and accounting is a pretty swell guy. <laughs> um, but it's, it's cool that we, we go to the films because we want to and, um, and, and just to support. And it's, you know, it's, it's cool to celebrate those people and sort of... Um, have passion and, and come up with jokes and entertainment about them and 
Um, so we're really excited for tomorrow. Well, speaking of uh, celebrating people, Derek Waters winning the first ever inaugural Golden Mammoth Award at the award show. Um, what is the Golden Mammoth Award? Ooh, that's a great question. It's the I, first time. Well, I they went with Golden Mammoth. I thought it should be called the Derek Waters Award. <laughs> and uh, I, can't, I don't have time. I believe right it's, you know, to. this has become like a, a proper tradition Mammoth has. Uh, one of my... One of my friends who's very tradition oriented said, "What are you doing this week?" I said, "Going up to Mammoth." He went, "Wow, a real proper tradition." I think that that felt good because it's a long running thing, and I think this is kind of our version of a lifetime achievement award, you right. know. And I feel like maybe early on, uh, your first year giving out a lifetime achievement award feels a little inauthentic. But now that we kind of have some years under our belt, um, for me, I've been a huge Derek Waters fan for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I used to watch the fir the first Drunk Histories when they came out on Funny or Die yep. yeah. before they. Were a television show yeah. i shoot showed everyone i knew i thought they were hilarious and um so i i'm kind of like geeking out on my own you know i love i'm like a child of the internet and i love like internet comedians i love watching donald glover make it because i was like i used to watch him do funny enough his group was called Derek comedy but i feel that way about Derek waters as well um so to watch him you know drunk history turn into such a legendary show uh, has been exciting for me as a fan. Yeah. Yeah, it feels appropriate that he's the first because it feels like he was doing indie in a space. Like, obviously, there was always indie film, but he was doing, like, indie episodic. Yeah. And I, it's funny because I went to the Q&A yesterday with him. <clears throat> Sorry, COVID. No, no, I went to the Q&A <laughs> um, uh, with him yesterday and just, you know, obviously, he's been around. It's funny. We're the exact same age and he looks younger than me. But it's like for you, he's been around as long as I can think about just in Hollywood. We probably got there around the same time. And I was just always aware of his stuff. Like you said, before it went to Funny or Die, before any of that stuff. And this guy was just sort of like, he was just doing it for the love of the game. And what an inspirational story to go along with Mammoth. Well, they just did it for the love of the game. They wanted to support their friends, their ideas, their momentum. Yeah. And it's somebody like that, Derek, who's been doing that for other people as well as himself for a long time. I don't think there's a better recipient than him for the first one. Totally. Yeah. Uh, the Loop Live this year brought to you by Seen It, the world's favorite movie trivia board game. You guys I, Seen It fans? I agree. Yeah. I, I, play, I was first introduced to Seen It in, um, in youth group in 10th grade. I was there to be confirmed as a Catholic, and I really enjoyed the scene at nights. And then the nights when we talked about the Bible, I had too many questions and wound up um, having to drop out. <laughs> yeah. uh, but you were there to play scene it. Yeah, no, scene it. Seen I it think they all. love me those nights. And then they talked about, like, you know, how the Bible applies to the modern world. And I, had, yeah. I basically had too many questions. I created an entire controversy because... Well, they that's a longer story, but I can go into yeah. it. I can go into. By the uh, way, tell us more about that. Yeah, let's um, talk about the Catholic Church for a while. You, when I played it, and I'm Jewish, but when I played it at, uh, <laughs> at Catholic camp, um, they took out all the spotlight <laughs> questions. All right, right. Well, we're done here. <laughs> Guys, I'm working on shit for tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> won't make it in. Yeah. The current uh, oh. spotlight references. <laughs> What's the joke I wanted you to test to see if anybody would get it? This this oh. year we're also sponsored by Waterloo. This is a perfect. Yes. Yeah. So how many of you are familiar, Chris, none of your cackling in the background. How many of you are familiar that Napoleon Bonaparte lost the battle at Waterloo? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so Wait, literally everyone in this fucking room. That's not what you do. You do the joke and then you say, yeah, did the, you get it? Uh, I you, say, don't, you, don't pre you don't prep them with the premise. Uh, the, the joke is the premise. I say, uh, brought to you by Waterloo, um, which will kill your thirst the way it got Napoleon or something like, along those lines. All right, all Laugh right. Laugh from the camera guy. Laugh from the camera guy. It's in the show tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> in, what about in lieu of water, drink Waterloo? How about that? Not bad. That's a great slogan. Okay. I don't we're know what we're saying is we're still working. Yeah, we're still working it out. Yeah. We'll, we'll get it by Tuesday. Winging ish. <laughs> yeah. The day um, after the yeah, award. The, the yeah. was kind enough to make us our own Mammoth Film Festival commemorative game piece. You can see it right there. Yeah, that's there really cool. On the wow. board, which is pretty awesome. And then also, uh, we are powered by a charity and an organization called Rack the Planet. So these are my last two, actually. Have you guys got one of these yet? At no. The fest? no. Here you go. Here's one for you. 
and here, yeah, pass oh, it down. There you go. Yep. Um, you just there's no combo or anything. Click slide those to the side like it's an action movie with like a bomb inside of it or something. But actually, there's cold hard cash in there from Rack the Planet. R A K stands for Random Acts of Kindness, and they just want you to take that out in the world and either pay it forward or buy someone's coffee or do something cool with it or keep it and do something cool with it yourself. I like this. Wow. This you just own Wilson. Wow. Um, <laughs> I uh, wow, this is so great. Um, I love it because it looks like we're doing an homage to Marcellus Wallace. In oh, wow. oh wow. real cold hard cash in here. Actually, Michael Madsen said that when I handed it to him. He goes, "Oh, like Pulp Fiction." Balls, <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Michael Madsen and I are the same. <laughs> same guy. Wow, this is awesome. Random acts of kindness. This is really cool. yeah, there Just you go. doing a pay it forward thing. I'm yeah. excited to Rack participate the in this. There you go. Um, guys, thanks for sitting down. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having it us. It wouldn't be mammoth without you guys. Yeah, we're yeah happy thanks to be for here. helping me unpack my Catholic confirmation. No problem. Yeah. I'm happy I could be here for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for these guys and Rack the Planet and Seen It, I'm Brett, and that's keeping you in the loop.